Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Barakallahu alaykum, we're taking again your questions from my taskia. Today's question is, what in the brain, what is in the brain that is triggered, that is the same, high, for an addict who's, uh, you know, in pornography and, and an addict who is uh, an addict to cocaine. So the two have been linked. Indeed, cocaine addiction and porn addiction have been linked, and it is dopamine. It is this... Um, a neurotransmitter, this hormone that basically um, is so important in your body, and is that feel good, that feel good uh, sense that you get from a high or a spike in dopamine. You would get it from working out and achieving something, finishing a project, being happy about a certain um, thing that you've done in your life, um, just feeling good about people you love, intimacy having intimacy with your spouse. This is what would push uh, dopamine up. So the same thing happens with cocaine. Now, of course, cocaine is a bit different, but when scans, uh, brains have been scanned, they found that the brain looks very similar under like a, a, a coke addict, cocaine addict, and a porn addict. Their brains look very, very similar. And that's why they call porn a new age drug. So... This is basically what it is, and that's why when we target people who, um, you know, we want to help them to quit, we always target their schedule, their lifestyle, the work that they do, how to achieve, how to change, how to feel, and how to give yourself that dopamine boost that is natural. So you can get dopamine from working out, from playing sports and scoring and, you know, being happy for that, and doing good at work and doing projects and investments and making money and being with family and people that you love, and having intimacy, halal intimacy in marriage. There's so many ways of boosting your dopamine, feeling purpose. One of the things that I always talk to my clients, uh, porn addicts, is, and I target, is that what is your purpose in life? Like what drives you? What do you wake up for in the morning? What do you feel driven by? Because that is a huge dopamine boost. When you think about it, when you achieve it, when you have milestones in it, that's going to be something that's going to, really boost you up so subhanallah it's amazing that because i've dealt with uh, cocaine addicts as well as my clients and it's amazing to see the parallels between the two but it's also amazing to see one thing that i just recently was thinking about and dealing with is the relapse on both sides now coke addicts cannot they will relapse if they don't you know get away from it and then how porn addicts or relapse and this is a personal anecdote a personal opinion here this is not something that's grounded in science necessarily but when it comes to relapsing and going back to it uh, what i've seen and what i found is that people who get away from cocaine and they go through um, uh, through therapy and so on and they go to rehab they sometimes are able to fully recover from it. Yet many people in pornography, because I believe, you know, with cocaine, there's so many um, other outcomes. For example, you can overdose, you can die. Um, so people are very aware of that. But with porn, it's like people don't realize the effects. So they almost downplay it. I found that with porn, people relapse more and they relapse over their lifespan. Um, different clients report that. Yet with people who go through, um, through therapy and through, um, through detox with, with um, cocaine, many of them will not go back. Right? So I would argue, of course, both are very dangerous. Both are very, very dangerous. But I would argue that yeah, even porn is very, very dangerous. So we have to really be serious about these things. But this is it's dopamine. That's what is triggered in the brain. And I encourage people to do more research about it and how to get that natural dopamine boost that you need every single day. As opposed to going to cocaine or pornography, you can do it in other ways. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.